It's really something. I don't feel anything now. It's just good. My head feels like a football. Hmm. Hopefully not shaped like one, but it feels like one. Well, that's really the... Um, as I work close up front, like I said, let me know if you feel anything, okay? Mm -hmm. You know, the hair system, you know, the you know, hair system wig, whatever you want to call it. Um, you know, the problem with those is you're constantly going back for upgrades and maintenance and all that. Where here, the only real maintenance is, you know, you have to cut it, you got to wash it. You know, that's about it. Mm -hmm. This is your hair. It's truly amazing uh, how the numbing works. I mean, you don't feel anything, just, just the pressure. Right. Know, that's it. And you know what's funny is that's probably the biggest question we get is um, how much pain is there going to be. But you know, you can see that, you know, once you're done with that numbing, mm -hmm. it's just a matter of just kind of sitting here. And just kind of yeah, letting, yeah, yeah, the worst part seems to be the chair, sitting in the chair. <laughs> well, yeah, it's like sitting in a car for a long time, you know. Um. So each of the graphs, uh, the pieces that we cut down from the large piece that we took out, you have to trim off the excess fat off the bottom, and um, they're very easy to see. People have a misconception that the hairs and the follicles are not easy to see, but they are. There's a ball on the end, uh, the follicle, and then you can see the hair shaft throughout the skin. So basically what you want to do is get the whole hair shaft and the um, follicle in each of the grafts. So as you trim off the bottom, you have to make sure the follicle is still on there. And then you just cut it down like almost like a loaf of bread. You know, you start with one piece or one loaf and then you cut it down into separate pieces. Just trim off any excess skin and fat and that's actually a graft. How you doing, Bob? Doing fine. Feel okay? Mm hmm Okay. Here's the remote. You're probably not in control at home, but here you can watch whatever you want. Oh, thank you very much. Would you like some juice to drink? Yes, I would. Okay. I'll be right back with that. Okay, thanks. Mm -hmm. All right, Bob, while Jennifer's getting your juice, I'm going to go to work. And again, all I'm doing is I'm just placing these graphs in their little, little new homes. Any pain, Bob? No, no I don't feel a thing. Great. What do you place the graphs with? I'll show you. Regular pair of tweezers, just like this. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. A little bit finer than maybe what you'd find at, at home, but that's all it is. There's the Yankees, their multi-million dollar payroll. Yeah, how about that? They're out. Time runner. Yeah. Have some choice words. Bob, here's some juice for you. Well, thank you very much. And I see you're watching TV, so mm -hmm. um, would you like any crackers, something to eat? No, I'm good. Thank you. Okay? You. Yep. Okay, well, yep. certainly let me know if there's anything I can get for you, okay? Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, as far as sexual activities, is that, is that okay, or...? Right. Well, I mean, you need to keep in mind that, you know, just like everything else, we do want you to take it easy for, you know, 48 hours. And so that even means, you know, any type of physical activity, sexual activity, okay. we want you to take it easy. You know, the, the biggest thing that we want, we're looking just to let these graphs settle in place. Okay. And um, if you're out there and you're active and you're, you're pushing your blood pressure up, you know, that's not going to be a good thing. Okay. So... You know, specifically when it comes to sexual activity, I would tell you, give it 48 hours, okay? So, you can see, Bob, this, you know, this is not complicated. It's just kind of tedious. It just mm -hmm. takes a little time. Well, like I said at the beginning of the session, I'm not in any hurry. So, <laughs> as long as it's done right, and uh, get the best result, that's what I'm looking for. Excellent. Well, so are we. Good 
grass has been going very well, Bob. Makes for a good, you know, a good patient makes for a good success. Well, that would be me. That would be you. It would be. Okay, Bob, Lisa's going to get you cleaned up. I'll be back in just a few moments. All righty. Thanks a lot, Doc. Oh, you're quite welcome. I'm going to just kind of slide up a little bit. Let's Want me on the head. Actually, I'm going to sit you up. The whole chair is going to move at once. Okay. Stay seated in your chair. I'm going to take your headrest away. And take your bandage off. I'm just going to go over your instructions with you, and I'm going to okay. go just as the paper reads, just to make it a little easier to follow. Okay. Um, basically, uh, the doctor's already said that we're going to give you some medications to go home with. Make sure you eat before you take any of them. We don't want to see you get an upset stomach and have any nausea or vomiting throughout the night. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have to be a big meal, just something on your stomach. Um, don't drink alcohol for 48 hours after the procedure. Wear protection on your head, baseball hat, some sort of hat whenever you go outside into the rain, elements, sunlight, whatever, just to help protect the grass. Um, you, you, your scabs are starting to form right now, and over the next 48 hours or so, they're really gonna kind of set in there with the grafts, and you know, the doctor was explaining how the surrounding tissue holds the, the grafts in. Um, the scabs are important not to bother, not to touch, anything like that. Once those scabs form, they act as glue. So, you know, you really don't want to disturb them. Mm -hmm. Just kind of let them there, and they should start to come off in about four or five days, and usually they're complete within about 14 days.